Dear students, now we are going to solve problems in linear filter concept. Here we can consider mean filter that is also known as average filter or the low pass filter. So first problem, what is the value of rounded pixel in the given image data if it is smoothened by a 3 by 3 box filter? So here we can consider the term smoothened. For that we are going to take the mean filtering concept or average filtering concept. So 3 by 3 box filter means here we can consider 3 by 3 matrix with all 1s. Since it is an average filter, we can take this value 1 by 9 with this 3 by 3 1 value. Do you all understand this concept? We are going to find out the smoothened value of this pixel 5. So what does mean by filtering? So filtering is nothing but convolution between two matrices. So here one matrix is image data. The next matrix is the filter data. Okay, so we are going to place this 3 by 3 matrix over the image data. So what will happen? Each value is multiplied with this one value and add all the values together. That is the output. So that output can be divided by the total number of elements. So here 9 elements are there. That is called as average filter concept. Do you all understand this one? So when we are going to place this 3 by 3 1 matrix on this image data, we can get that value as 1 into 1, 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3. So all the values are same. Simply we can add the given image data. Very simple concept. Okay. So whatever image data is given, we are going to add all the values together and divide that sum by the total number of elements. That is the smoothened value of this pixel 5. Do you all understand this concept? So this is what mean filter or averaging filter. Okay. So this is a kind of two mark question. So next we are going to solve one important big question. Filter the given image using 3 by 3 neighborhood averaging by assuming 0 padding. The next condition is pixel replication. So here the given image data as 4 by 4 matrix 2, 5, 7, 9, 4, 3, 10, 8, 11, 12, 12, 13, 2, 1, 6, 0. So here we are going to find out the filter output of this image data using average filter. So for this concept, each and every pixel values can be smoothened by this average value. In the previous problem, they have given us only the rounded pixel value but in this problem we are going to filter the entire image data okay so if we are going to take the average of this pixel 2 how can we take it so here if you want to get the average of this pixel 2 means we can consider this as the central pixel correct but yep. there is no previous column and previous row so how can we take this 2 as a central value because if you want to find out the smoothened value by using this average filter, we need to take that particular pixel as a center pixel. So that we are using the concept zero padding and pixel replication. The first one is to add extra rows and extra columns of zeros to the edges of an image to prevent the problems at the edges as well as to preserve the important characteristics. So if you are going to add extra rows, extra columns of zeros here means we can't lose any important data. We can retain all the important data especially in the edges. So here zero padding means we are going to add extra rows and extra columns along all the edges. Okay. Pixel replication means we are going to replicate each pixel values one more time. Okay. So first we are going to solve the problem with this zero padding. Do you all understand this concept? Why do we need this padding? If you want to find out the smoothened value of any pixel by using average filter concept, that pixel should be a center pixel. For this two, it is not a center pixel. Correct. It is a corner one. So in order to make this as a center, 
we are going to add extra rows and columns of zeros along all the edges. So this is called as zero padding. Now we are going to find out that average value of this two by considering this three by three matrix. Correct. So for this two, we can take this as a three by three matrix. So now we can convert this average filter with this three by three matrix. So we are simply going to add all these values together and divide that sum value by nine. That is a smooth end value of two or the filtered value of two. Similarly, for the second value five, we can consider the next three by three matrix for filtering. Likewise, we are going to find out the smooth end value for each and every pixels of that given image. Okay. For further calculation, we can consider the zero padded matrix as I dash. Okay. So next we are going to find out the smooth end value of this two. So that is nothing but the average value of the pixel two that can be obtained as here we can say one by nine into actually box filter is convolving with the three by three matrix filter. Correct. That is the concept here. So here we can simply take this multiplication like this. So we are going to simply multiply each value by one. So this can be written like this. So one by nine, zero, 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 two, five, zero, four, three. Okay. Then we can add all the values together and divide by nine. We can get that value as 1.55 that is approximately equal to 2. Okay. So here the average value of that first pixel 2 is 2 itself. The same way we can find out the average value of the next pixel 5 that is equal to 1 by 9 into the next 3 by 3 matrix 0, 0, 0, 2, 5, 7, 4, 3, 10. Okay. For that we can take the average value that is C is equal to 3.44 that is approximately equal to 3. So average value of 5 is equal to what now? 3. Okay. The same way we can find out average value of the next pixel 7 that is equal to 4.67 approximately equal to 5. Okay. Similarly we need to find out the average value for all the pixel values of the given image data in the problem. Similarly, we can find out the average values for each and every pixels in the given image data. So average value of 8 is equal to 7, average value of 11 is equal to 4, average value of 12 is equal to 7, average value of another 12 is equal to 7, average value of 13 is equal to 5, average value of 2 is equal to 3. Here for this one its value is 5, for this 6 its value is 5 and for that value 0 that is the last pixel in the given image data that is equal to 3. So here we so here you can understand the smoothening concept even for the edge pixel 0 it is smoothened as that value 3 correct because of taking the average of the nearby elements. Do you all understand this concept why do we prefer this smoothening filter? After getting the average values of all the pixels with the zero padding, we can write the answer like this. This is what that original image given in the problem. Correct. So here we have obtained the 3 by 3 mean filtered image as 2, 3, 5, 4, 4, 7, 9, 7, 4, 7, 7, 5, 3, 5, 5, 3. That is the smoothened value of the given image segment. So in this image segment we do have this 13, 12, 12, even 0. Correct. So all these variations can be smoothened within that particular range like from 2 to 9. So that is called as smoothening the image. From this output we can write reference like this. Here mean filter replaces each pixel by the average of all the values in the neighborhood to preserve the smooth region and removes the sharp variations. Okay. Especially in the edges. Okay. Wa? Do you all understand this concept? 
So next we are going to perform the same 3 by 3 averaging filter concept by taking pixel replication. So what does mean by pixel replication? This is what that given image 2579 4 3 10 8 11 12 12 13 2 1 6 0. So we can write this values as such. Okay. So in the pixel replications first we need to write the given values as such okay this is what the actual given image data so pixel replication means we can take that edge pixel value as such in all the sites so here 9 8 12 0 here it is 2 1 6 0 okay here it is 2 9 sorry 2 4 11 2 what about the corner the corner we can take the same value here here it is 9 here it is 0 here it is 2. So this is called as pixel replication. So in the previous one we used the zero padding. Simply we are adding extra rows and columns of zeros along all the edges. But here we are replicating the edge pixel values. Okay. Why? Because this pixel replication is mainly used to observe the values at the edges of our data. For further calculation, we can consider the pixel replicated matrix as I dash. Okay, so here this central portion that is this 4 by 4 matrix is the given image data. For this given image data, we are going to find out the smoothened value. Okay, for getting the smoothened value using that average filter, we are using this pixel replication concept. Correct. So, we are going to find out the smoothened value for this 2, 5, 7, 9. Not for this values. Correct. So, here we are going to take the position of this 16 elements. So, if you are going to start the position like this 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 5. Correct. This one is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Here it is 0, 4. Likewise, here it is 1, 0, 1, 1. 1 comma 2 it is going on like that so here we are going to take the average value for that position 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 likewise 2 comma 2 sorry 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4 the same way 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 4 here it is 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 so for this position salons, we are going to find out that average values. The same concept here we are going to take at the position i dash of 1 comma 1. That is this first pixel. So average value of 2 at this position is equal to we can consider this matrix. Okay. So here we can consider 1 by 9 into 2, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2, 5, 4, 4, 3. So simply we are going to add all these values together that is divided by 9. That is the average value of this 2. Okay. So here it is equal to 3.22. That is approximately equal to 3. So now the average value of the pixel 2 is equal to what? 3. Do you all understand this one? So similarly we can take the next pixel value. That position is 1 comma 2. This 5. So for that central we can take the next 3 by 3 matrix. We can make that 5 as a center element. Then we can take that average value of this that is equal to 5. Okay. The same way for that value 7, its value is equal to 7. For 9, its value is equal to 8.44 that is approximately equal to 8. So we need to keep this position to avoid the confusion of the pixel values. Okay. Because the same pixel values are repeated again at the edges side. Okay. So similarly we can get. The average value of 4 is equal to 6, average value of 3 is equal to 7, average value of this 10 is equal to 9. So the same way we can find out the average values for all the pixel elements given in the problem. Okay. So here we can keep that locations. Okay. Then only we can get that proper values. You all understand this one. So here you need to solve this problem step by step. Then only you can familiarize this concept. Okay. In the final step, we can write that answer as with the pixel replication, the given original image is smoothened as 
So here the edge elements are important elements are retaining or preserving. Okay, using this pixel replication.